What's going on, everyone? So, does anyone else ever feel like Kendrick Perkins just talks? Like, he's just, like, throwing stuff out there just to, I don't know, gather attention or something? Because it really does, right? We're going to dive into this in a moment. But Kendrick Perkins said uh, he wouldn't be surprised to see Steph team up with KD or LeBron. After this season, we might see some things, some moving parts, and I wouldn't be surprised if we see a reunion with Steph Curry and KD or LeBron James and Steph actually making it happen. Um, basically dived into that. Before we get into that, whatever happened to, to Trey Young? What happened to, you know, Kendrick Perkins saying that the Lakers were going to get a star? Now look, still early. Maybe it happens. But there is like no inclination that <laughs> the Lakers are getting any type of star. It's all just like Jeremy Grant stuff like that. I mean... Kendrick Perkins went on, like, national television and basically said Trey Young is headed to the Lakers. Right? He didn't name him exactly. He said, you know, I can't really name the guy. But he said who would be, it's guy would be best with Anthony Davis, you know, this, that, and the other, and basically described Trey Young. Worth noting, though, Trey Young was on, uh, what is it, Paul George's podcast, and uh, one of the co-hosts said something about, like, uh, they were like, oh, who do you think would compliment your game or whatever? And the it, Paul George's po uh, podcast host was like, oh, Anthony Davis. And Trey said something along the lines, and I'm paraphrasing, like, yeah, like, yeah, that, that's definitely someone kind of like. So, again, maybe something develops, right? There's a lot of talk about Steph Curry and LeBron teaming up and how cool that would be. Now, I think a lot of that is just for, like, nostalgic reasons. And I just think it'd be a better natural fit than with Trey. Because Trey is just so on ball and so ball heavy. Um, you know, so it's just like, I just don't know how well the fit would be. Like, Steph, no brainer. That fits seamlessly. Trey, little, little concerning. But I just think it's funny that, like, once a week, Kendrick Perkins is saying something about, you know, somebody going somewhere and, like, it never happens, right? Like, I understand, look, you know, media... They're, they're going to mention stuff. There's always trade rumors going around. There's always stuff, which is fine. If Kendrick Perkins said, you know, hey, I'm hearing, you know, a, a guy wants to go to the Lakers or whatever. It's one thing to speak in like definitives, <laughs> right? Because that's all everything. Everything is a rumor until it happens, right? I've talked plenty of rumors, right? I've built my channel on that, right? Like, you know, hey, this report came out that the Lakers are interested in this and they're trying to trade for this, blah, blah, blah. It's all rumors and speculation until it actually happens, right? Every year, there's a hundred different players linked to the Lakers and, you know, it's usually only one or two at most that end up getting traded, right? Like, if if any, right? In, in the case of last year. But when, you know, when you have somebody that comes on and says, no, he's coming to the Lakers, like, Lakers, be patient, he's going to the Lakers, right, now you're speaking in definitive, now you're saying that, no, this is going to happen, rather than, you know, hey, I've heard some word that I, I know a star that would love to play with LeBron James and Anthony Davis, hopefully they can make that happen, right, again, it's the, the way you phrase things, words matter, right, sentence structure matters, certain things you, you put out there matter, and I just think it's, Funny. I wanted to highlight that. But diving into um, the LeBron James, Steph Curry side of things. Now, look, we all would love to see it. You know, whether you're a Laker fan, Warrior fan. Now, obviously, you have different perspectives on where that should that team up should be, right? Us Laker fans, we want it to be with the Lakers. Warrior fans probably want it to be with the Warriors. But even just basketball fans, period, right? Like. You know, just as a basketball fan, I think it was Nick Wright threw out the idea of, um, you know, them teaming up with the Spurs. I would prefer them to team up with the Lakers, but if I remove my Laker bias and let's say they really did and those two guys really did go play with Victor Wimanyama, as a basketball fan, I would love to see that. As a Laker fan, I would be furious because <laughs> it's like, you should have been here. Now, I don't see this happening this season. I don't. I don't. There have been reports that have came out look for the 2026 season because LeBron, if he opts into his new contract, will be a free agent. And then Steph Curry, he can opt out if there's no extension uh, given to him so the two of them could team up. But 
at that point, you're, I mean, you're talking two more seasons from now. At that point, LeBron's like 42, and Steph is, what, he'd be 38, right? He'd be almost 39, because he turns, what, 37 in, in March? So he'd be getting ready to be 39 in that season, right? Like, now look, LeBron is not really showing any decline whatsoever, and Steph has still been amazing, but that's like old, right? You're talking about like a one-year, most likely like a one-year thing. Steph wants to play till he's 40. LeBron wants to play till he's 43, maybe play with his other son, right? Like, I just, that is a little tough for me, right? Like, I think if it's going to happen, it it, it happens next season, right? Maybe something gets done at the trade deadline or whatever. I just, you know, if the Warriors are bad, you know, maybe the Warriors, because look, and this isn't just a Laker thing, right? Because I know some people are going to be like, of course you believe that. You're a Laker fan. No, it's just looking at both sides, like looking at the team. One team in the Warriors have a bunch of young talent that they don't want to trade, that they want to grow, develop, and have be the next wave, right? I mean, they weren't willing to trade even Pod to go get uh, Laurie Markkinen, who's, you know, a proven all-star guy, right? So they clearly value Kaminga. He's about to get a new contract. Um, you know, they value a uh, pod, right? Like they have the young talent that they don't want to unload. Then you have the Lakers who have LeBron James and Anthony Davis, and they want to win a championship ASAP. So you have one team that wants to win now at all costs. And you have another team that has a bunch of young talent that wants to grow and develop. Also, Steph Curry joining, you know, LeBron James and Anthony Davis gives you much more likely of a chance to win a championship than LeBron joining Steph and Draymond. You know, I mean, th- it's not even close, right? So the Lakers, I believe if it does happen, it will be with the Lakers. Right? I think Steph ends up leaving. The The Warriors basically get uh, an absolute haul for him. They'll get basically everything that the Lakers have for him. Um, and then they get more young talent. And the Lakers get Steph, LeBron, and Anthony Davis, and they go one last push for a year or two, uh, in, in order to make that happen. And then all three, or maybe LeBron and, and Steph, right off into the sunset. That's that, right? Like I just, I don't necessarily think that that happens this season. Next season, I would not be shocked at all. I right? and you know, there's there's a lot of smoke right now, and usually where there's smoke, there is some fire, right? There is fire, so. I, I do think that these two want to play with each other. I could see them going like, hey, you know, let's do it one year, right? You know, if we win the championship, maybe we maybe we run it back. But let, let's let's we gotta do this at least one time. Right. I could see Steph going, all right, you know, let, let's do this one more time. Right. And then the you know, Lakers making the trade, right? Steph would be on a contract year after that. Lakers take on that deal. So that way the Warriors you know, get a bunch of young talent, right? Get all the Lakers draft picks. Lakers would get another pick freed up. So, you know, basically the Warriors get a a, a haul for Steph and then everyone's happy, right? It's a win-win for all parties. But, you know, Trey, you know, to kind of to bring it full circle because, you know, that was the original Kendrick Perkins conversation was that, hey, Trey Young is coming to Lakers. Um, Now, look, could Trey still come? Sure. All right. Does it happen during the offseason? Probably not. I think if it happens, it happens at like the trade deadline. I think Atlanta's terrible and Trey's like, get me out of here. If it were to happen and if the Lakers haven't made any moves or haven't done anything that would prevent them from getting Trey, uh, I could see maybe the Lakers going and getting Trey on. Right. And, you know, I think that that is something that's not like unfathomable still like I understand that some people might look at it and go no hey there's no way Atlanta would trade you know Trey or do any moves like I hear it all the time like oh they would anytime I mention Atlanta for any type of trade they're like oh they own the Lakers draft pick you're acting like Lakers draft pick is going to be a lottery pick right like the at best it'll be a 17th pick as we've seen the last few years more likely than not it'll probably be Adding Trey is not going to make them is not going to make that pick that much more worse, right? Like, you know, Lakers probably have you know a seventeen to twenty pick. You know, if the Lakers are better, 
this year with the new coach and all that stuff, it's very possible that pick could be in the high 20s or mid 20s. Right? So it's not like they they got a lottery pick this year. Right? So Atlanta, I don't think if they can get a return in which they they're comfortable with, they're not going to not make that deal. They're not going to not trade a guy. And how many teams like if they do end up looking to move Trey, how many teams are lining up to go get Trey Young? Like one of the reasons all the conversations died about Trey is because there's no market. Nobody wants him. Nobody's trying to go after him because he is such a specific player. He's a guy that needs the ball in his hands. He's a guy that's best with the ball in his hands. Not great off ball, although he's had seasons. Like, I think it was like two years ago. He had like a season in which he shot like 56% in like catch and shoot threes. Like, it was like ridiculous. Um, it was almost like a made up number. But he's been nowhere near that since. Like, can he get back to that? Possibly. All right. LeBron wants to play more off ball. JJ Redick wants LeBron to play more off ball. But also the offense JJ wants to run, you don't really have a need for Trey. The offense that JJ wants to run is the uh, free flowing kind of motion offense where it's not just one guy dominating the basketball and wheeling and dealing, right? Like, so I don't even know if Trey would work with the type of offense that, that JJ wants to run. Now, could JJ adjust and make that change? Sure. But I just, I, I think that, you know, it, it kind of full circles back to just, it was talk, <laughs> right? It was all just talk, you know, using the Lakers as uh, leverage and attention and all that stuff. It's just it's how it works, right? It's how it goes. Now, you know, maybe post LeBron, right? Like if a LeBron leaves next, you know, this off season or whatever, could the Lakers maybe go make a push for Trey? Sure. I could see something like that, but I just think while LeBron's on the Lakers, you know, maybe when LeBron departs, maybe Trey, when he's a free agent, mosey on over to, to the Lakers. That's always a possibility kind of, be LeBron's replacement, which could make some sense. But, you know, I just think right now, I think, you know, it'll it'll be uh, maybe a Steph if that were to happen. But more likely than not, it'll just be like key rotation, guys. It's probably where we're at. But anyway, as always, this is a discussion. Pass question on you. Let me know your thoughts and opinions down in the comments below. What do you think? How do you feel? What are your thoughts? Um, do you agree that Kendrick Perkins, like, dude, just be talking sometimes? Right? He's just saying some stuff. Um, what do you think about Trey? What do you think about Steph? Uh, do you think Steph eventually comes? How do you feel? Whatever your thoughts are, love to hear it. Let me know down in the comments below. That being said, if you haven't liked this video, hit that like button. Helps me a lot. We enjoy these types of videos, and I truly appreciate it. Not subscribe to the channel, hit that subscribe button. Turn on the bell notifications. Appreciate y'all. See you in the next one. Thank you.